Well, I was going to film this, but it looks like somebody got into my costume. You need to get out of that so I can do this. You see this? I need to do this. Hey, look at me. Pay attention. How about you get out of my cassock? Cassock. Cassock. But no, it's priest. Cassock. That's what the dictionary.com said with their audio, yes. Little Goule, get out of my clothing so I can iron it. Cute. Okay, so this is her toy, and she likes it. <laughs> oh. You want this back? If you want this back, you have to leave and leave for good. Come on, go get it. Leave. You can do it, I know you can. How about this toy? You see, this is one of Ghoulie's favorite toys. It's filled with catnip. Why are you licking my cosplay? Stop licking my clothes. They're already clean, I assure you. Well, all right, that's a lie. I've never washed it, but whatever. I have a video to make, Ghoulie. It's your favorite toy. I told YouTube it was. Don't make me look stupid. Go get it. And the wind up. And she springs, and we're free! Okay, what's up, YouTube? I am going to show you how you, too, can finish off your Meliora Era 3 Nameless Ghoul Kasak, yes. Now, if you want to make your outfit totally 100% legit, you get yourself an embroiderer, and they can send you patches, which you will assemble yourself. And I... Special Dark Ghoul will show you how. Step number one. If you are going to attach your patch, you're going to need an iron. Here's what that is. And then this is what you're going to do with it. You will need to do this or it will not work. Step number two. You're going to need this. Why do you ask? Well, do I really need to tell you? Learn. Follow my example. You will understand. Cheers. <laughs> I spilled. You'll need a lot of that. <laughs> Step number two is decide where your patch looks correct. I don't really, I don't frequently measure things. Can I eyeball it? That's right, that's how I do my life. On to step number three. You get your mother for second iron. That's right. And then you <laughs> really grind it in there, baby. Melt, you son of a bitch. Melt like a grilled cheese sandwich you are. And you just do this for a while and, you know, check on it periodically. Hmm, my mother's touch. There you go. See, it worked perfectly. It's beautiful. And for our next step, you will arrange this just so. Bottom side, top side. Do not mix these up. You will look foolish. And then, you take a trick of this. You not come back, baby. And then you get your mother for second iron. And you... Oh, beautiful. All right. There you go. It's a masterpiece, is it not? Oh, let it cool a minute. Well, there you have it, you guys. That's how you legitly put on your... Alchemy patches! Yay! You hopefully will do a better job than I did. But you know what, sweethearts? I'm going to go and be all anal and go for <laughs> Being totally straight with you, YouTube. If you stitch it on, if you do a bad job or you want to change things up in the future, you can always pop your stitches and use them again. So yes. <laughs> To make this look functional, get yourself some nice dress shoes. Yes, fancy church shoes. The shit you only wear, you know, when you're forced to go to church on Sunday. To go nicely with your nice dress slacks. Yes, that you took meticulous care to make sure it did not clash uh, material-wise with your, with your cassock. Yes, we can't have blacks clashing now. So try and find something that's very close in color and even texture so it doesn't look too different because that's distracting and tacky. Alright, so now I'm gonna tie those shoelaces nice and good, not sloppy. And to finish off the look of your feet, you're going to need to get some spats. And you can get these at party stores like Party City, Year Round, Halloween Store, of course. And we got ours on on eBay. So, now I shall show you how to put it on. Snap. 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 And then pull that pant leg down and you're a dandy. Very, very sharp. You will get all the goulets with such a look. Kee <laughs> hee! <laughs>
<laughs> you fell off. Stop quaking, Mr. Skeleton. I know that this is going to be very educational, but it's all right to calm down a bit. All right, you guys. This is the Meliora Cassock, yes. And uh, we will tell. I will tell you just a little bit about how I created mine. It wasn't a bunch of black magic. No, this was a little bit of a rush job. I went and I bought a real priest cassock online, and I, I modified it. It came with buttons, and I was like, well, no, of course that cannot do. And so I kind of, you know, very stealthily found ways to put snaps and kind of, you know, give the illusion that maybe that mistake was never made. <laughs> and I cut it short. It might be a bit short, perhaps. Maybe I'll make one just a little bit longer. So my butt is a little more because <laughs> I have quite the, I have quite the bubble. What is that? They have bubble. quite. No, I have quite the twish. What is it they say when twish is good? <laughs> the toilet. Is the toilet. Is, the toilet is singing. <laughs> the toilet, the toilet is singing. <laughs> what? My butt is uh nice. <laughs> it's voluptuous. But anyway, 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 back to the educational. <laughs> Well, this is just a piece of denim that we got. I used uh, uh, some black denim to kind of reinforce it. Depending on your body type and how you want this to fit, you may want to go with just one single layer. And, and of course we have the snaps here. If you, if you notice over, over the years of, of their costumes, they tend to change a little bit from here or there, how something fits. So you know, it's really up to you and what you like and, and what fits you. Go ahead and look at all the all, all of the Google pictures and find out what you like best. Fit it to you. That's what's going to make it look good. And I also added, of course, the three snaps on the cuffs. As as you'll remember, I showed you how to apply your your patches. Maybe not do it that way. I was just joking. I stitched mine on so because I, I intend on making my own when I have a little bit more free time and kind of remaking this to fit me a little better. But yes, this is good for now. If you want to be able to reuse your patches, always stitch them on because I imagine getting that adhesive off is going to be hell. And you know, that's pretty much it. Get yourself a priest cassock, cut that shit, make a stylin, add a belt. Very good, very nice. And that's how you do it. And this is Senegal's disembodied head. For your Halloween costume with this tight ass deadline. I highly recommend you go pick yourself up a Trick or Treat Studios Meliora Nameless School Mask much faster. Um, I've even heard that some spirit stores carry them, so if you have one in your area, definitely worth taking a look. Just, you know, so you save yourself some shipping time. But as for us, we made ours because the Trick or Treat Masks make us look like bobbleheads. And this was a painstaking process. I can't really walk you through it. You, you are on your own with that one, my friends. But if you want, you're welcome to, you know, drop me a line and perhaps I will make you one. Um, it's not exactly where I want it yet. This was sort of a rush job to get it done in time for the convention in September, which is of course now past. When I have a little bit more free time, I am going to fix what I didn't really like about it and kind of smooth it out some more. I'm... I, I, um, I, 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 I did good. <laughs> I did good. It's a, it's a, it's a fairly good, I like it. Yes, but this is just, this is just a prototype. It will improve, and I look forward to that day. And when I finally have a model that I like, I will definitely be selling them. Um, and so you contact me, yes. You contact me, I get you one. So if you are a ghoul of smaller build, this will balance you out and make you look very well tailored. This one got a bit smashed, so it's a different shape. Cynical's is very delicate, and I'm very... Uh, less delicate. <laughs> it will be something in between this. It'll be very nice. <laughs> so you get you, you get you one of yours. Make that deadline. And then uh, you'll, of course, need one of these. This is a balacava. It's what I'm wearing now. This will finish off the look to make you like just some black shadow creature. You don't need any of your, your flesh showing. Not any more so than this. We're a little bit more conservative than that. So you have to have one of these to finish off the look properly. Cover that neck and the back of your head. 
very nice, very polished. So get yourself one of these. We got this on Amazon.com. We have links down below, so do check it out. We've got you. We've got you hooked up. The very last finishing touch we'll need will be this. A necklace with a G. You will need to get yourself one of these, yes. They have that G. That G? And this made you mean the crucifix? Yeah. Uh, there are many sellers on Etsy that make these that you can buy them from. Uh, this one is a little bit big on me. This would be m more suited to an infestissimum look. Um, and when I have a little bit more mummy dust in my pocket, I'm going to get one that's sized more closely to me. But this will do for now. This will do for now. The masses, they don't know the difference. Always make sure that this part of the G is pointed to your left. The left. We are the walkers of the left-hand path. There now you'll remember some magic for you. And there you go, a magical ensemble just for you. How do you feel? You look good just like me. <laughs> And hey, it never hurts to add a little bit of personal flair to, to your outfit to become, you know, to really have some personality. I know we're all nameless ghouls, but you know what? We all have names because that's just how we roll. So, me, I like to spruce it up with a little bit of special things sometimes because I'm just, you know, like that. So, have fun with yours. Have, fu have fun with your bad self. Mm. Oh, one last thing. A nice finishing touch for your costume. Come with me. You will need to get yourself an instrument. You don't actually need to know how to play one of these. Just having one alone will get you laid. So go ahead and spend $200, it's worth it. Guitar lessons not included, of course. All right, you guys, let's jam. And then, all you need is to get yourself one of these. A pill. Oh. Oh god damn it. <laughs> and then you're all set to go. Trick or treating. Alright you guys, thanks so much for joining us. Goodbye YouTube. Happy Halloween to you all. We have a special duck. And to all of us here. On our YouTube. Yes. <laughs> Oops. Is that going to sound like a fart? <laughs>